Zebre travelled to Glasgow looking for a record third success in a row and one that would almost certainly ensure their place in next season's European Champions Cup. The equation was straightforward. If they could equal Treviso's result at Dragons, then Andrea Cavanato's men could look forward to European competition next term. The home side went into the game off a wonderful seven-game winning run, safely in the playoffs and knowing that a win would guarantee them a home semi-final. And what a start Gregor Townsend's men made. With less than a minute on the clock, the Scots launched an attack. Fullback Stuart Hogg was quick to support. And he had the speed to evade the tackles and race clear to the line for the perfect start for Warriors. Excellent play from the Scottish international, settling back into the side after his recent suspension. His fellow international Duncan Weir converted, and it was 7-0 and a perfect platform to build on. And build on it they did. Warriors playing like a team with confidence flowing through their veins, and on seven minutes came a second try. Superb work from Fijian international Leone Nakarawa, and he set up Ryan Grant for the score from close range. The loose head from Kirkcaldy in for his second try of the season, and one that put the Scots into a commanding lead. We're converted, and it was 14-0. Zebre were on the ropes, and Glasgow looked to have struck an early knockout blow from the line-out when captain Ali Kellogg pirouetted over the line for a third try in the 15th minute. The 6'8", second rower's first try of the campaign, and one that virtually ended the match as a contest. Weir converted once more for a 21-0 lead inside the first quarter of the encounter. With so much to play for, Zebre were a pale shadow of the side they've been in recent weeks, and it got even worse for them in the 19th minute when the ball was moved wide by a rampant Warriors, and yet again Hogg was well placed for a fourth try, one that ensured a bonus point and a home semi-final for the Scots. The home crowd enjoying the tri-fest, Although Weir's conversion just slipped wide, Warriors had a 26-0 lead and were coasting to victory. Alex Dunbar replaced Mark Bennett in the centre for this game and he got into the scoring act in the 22nd minute as the Zebre resistance seemed to wither away. A fifth try for the home side and Zebre in danger of suffering a cricket score defeat. Weir kicked a wonderful conversion to give Townsend's men a 33-0 lead. It was almost entirely one-way traffic. And Glasgow added to Zebre's woes in the 31st minute. Dunbar kicked ahead and Hogg raced clear and looked set for his hat-trick. But Nico Matawalu outpaced his teammate and just got the touchdown ahead of Hogg. Zebre, like the advertising hoarding, were falling apart. Matawalu might have been on the end of a Hogg roasting for stealing the fullback's thunder. We're at the two points, and it was 40 nil just past the half hour mark. Into the second half, it was inevitable in the difficult conditions that the game would lose some of its urgency. It took until the 66th minute for the next score. Jeff Cross getting over the line from close range for a seventh Glasgow try. The ref, Alain Roland, asked for the assistance of the TMO before awarding the try. Cross on loan from Edinburgh, yeah. getting in for his first score in okay, three years. We're converted for 47-0. And Warriors passed the half-century soon after, but Matawalu demonstrated his pace once again with a run from 40 metres out to go clear for an eighth try of the game for Glasgow against a thoroughly dispirited Zebre. Weir tapped the conversion over, and it was 54-0. That's how the game would finish. Joy for Glasgow, who take on Munster at home in the semi-finals and will be full of confidence after an eighth straight win, but they'll surely face a sterner test. A hugely disappointing end for Zebre, having made such good strides throughout the campaign. They miss out on Europe, but they can take a number of positives from this season. Final score at Scotstoun, Glasgow Warriors 54, Zebre nil.